Hi, my name is Fabio Varesano. In this little video I show you my experiments with the advanced features of the ADXL345 accelerometer. Well, here you can see my homebrew bracket board for the ADXL345 accelerometer. As you can see, it's all connected to my Arduino 2009. Uh, you can see an introduction to my breakout board and uh, all the designs of this breakout board on my personal website. Well, the ADXL345 accelerometer is a very very cool chip because it has a lot of feature which helps the developer uh, interacting with the user in a very very uh, easy way so the chip has the capability of uh, sending interrupts on a series of uh, uh, detected events for example if the chip detects that uh, it's uh, it's falling, it's free falling, it will, it can um, send an interrupt to the Arduino board. As you can see here, we have a, a line going from the int1 pin of the ADXL345 accelerometer to the Arduino pin, no, digital pin number 2. Well, uh, So, how, do, how does this work? The Arduino sends uh, some configuration commands to the, to the chip and uh, so that the chip activates all these, its uh, advanced, advanced features like uh, power management, uh, um, freefall detection, single tap and double tap detection as well as activity or inactivity detection so this is uh, pretty much uh, everything which uh, the chip can detect so so this video and the program I will I will show you almost covers all the the advanced features of the ADXL345 accelerometer the ADXL345 accelerometer has a very cool power management feature. You can save energy in two different ways. The first, you can put the device in slip mode, so it will reduce the frequency of the its readings to something like I don't remember exactly why. Well, but reducing its frequency, it will save energy. Another way to save energy is to set the accuracy of of its reading to a lower level, so that uh, in this way it will also save a lot of energy. So now I have here two programs. One it's uh, running on the Arduino and basically it uh, configures all the various interrupt and advanced power management feature of the ADXL345 accelerometer and I also have a processing uh, program which basically simply reads the data coming on the, on the serial wire and it displays them on the PC monitor. So you will find these programs on my personal website and you're very welcome to do, do with it anything you want. Well, uh, so let's start the processing code. There we go. Well, the I, ADXL345 accelerometer 
is started in uh, low power mode so its readings are inaccurate and uh, the frequency of the readings are is uh, really low so that so that it can uh, save a lot of energy when i move uh, when i move the um, the breadboard here it detects activity and it switch it uh, it switch back to full measurement uh, power so the readings get really accurate and the power consumption uh, it's higher well uh, instead when I put it lying on the table for some second it should detect inactivity uh, there you go it just detected inactivity and it fall back to the low, low power low frequency uh, mode so that right now the chip is consuming really really um, a low, low amount of uh, current so I'm now moving it again okay so that it detected activity and switched back to the full um, range me measurement now I can simply I show you the the other uh, feature configured so I have a single tap feature as you can see here single tap which also is capable of uh, sensing which axis it um, from each from which axis it got its uh, the tap so when i do when i do this here i get a z when i do on the side like like here i get an x there and when I do the on the other side, right, right here, it get it get the cor the somehow the the correct axis. The same for the double tap feature. Double tap. Double tap. On another another axis another axis and that's it another great feature of the Alixel uh, 345 accelerometer is uh, free fall detection and I implemented it so basically when you leave it falling down it detects free fall I'll show you another time free fall free fall uh, of course, uh, it's uh, get pretty confused by the the free fall. It detects also a, a double tap, but that's not a problem. So I show you another time free fall, and that's it. So this is everything. Thanks for watching and goodbye.